Did someone say Disco Elysium? Number 26? I think it's number 26. I'm going to do a long recording today. The last one I put up got copyright stricken, so I took a few days off. BS. It's bullshit. I know. Uh, but we're back in Revishol. Uh, we're still lovers of orange beanies. I don't, I don't really know where to go from here. I can't forge the document. I don't have any skill points. So we're just going to go, go, go around talking to people, see if we can gather more data from people. Um, I really want to see what's in, par in apartment 10, but I feel like that has no bearing on our case whatsoever. And I'm not really in the mood to, um, I don't know, do anything about it. Just an ordinary war. Nothing to see here. Ooh, plus two. Cindy's artistic impulses are infectious. I'm going to conceptualize with a 28% skill check. Why am I looking at this wall? Because you see it. Ooh. Finally. This wall is sublime. Look at it. The shadows. The colors. Let the conceptual joy flow into your pupils and blossom into thoughts in your brain. All the other walls on all the other houses must make a pilgrimage in adoration of this. The uncontested pinnacle of Warcraft. Color peeled from the very face of God. More! Oh, Warfather. Oh, um, Kim, I must paint this wall. Add even more beauty to it. Huh? He sounds tired of it all. Yeah, me too, but guess what? We're painting this wall. You already have the heavy fuel oil to use as paint. It's red. And Cindy the Skull has a paintbrush. Beautiful. All right. This is on. I already have the paint. Just need to get a paintbrush from Cindy the Skull. If you must. <laughs> All right. Checking my inventory. Where's my paint bucket? Do I actually have a paint bucket? Or is it just... There's nothing there. Um... Sure, yeah, definitely have a paint bucket in my inventory. Al Ghul. Your, your, your concept of Al Ghul is Al Ghul. <laughs> Where are you, Cindy? Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? Cindy, I'm going to need your paintbrush. What for? I'm doing renovation. It's boring but necessary. Actually, you know what? It's for art, okay? Well, if it's for art. But what kind of art are we talking about? Grand art. Art deluxe. The artsiest, the most groundbreaking, the... Let me stop you right there, Puggy. You have no idea, do you? No idea. No brush? Fuck off. To crush a man's dreams like that? I hope you're happy. There, there, Piggy. I guess art just isn't really you. Because you suck. In life. And in everything. So I'm aware of Cindy's living conditions, which, gi which gives me a plus one conceptualization into this impossible task. I have a 17% chance. Uh, I'm going to attempt to explain your artistic intentions. Hey, I just hit a 28% and I failed 358s in a row, so I've, I'm feeling lucky. They do say the painter always paints his own portrait. I'm going to paint a self-portrait, but sort of, you know, from the inside to show people what it's like. That's pretty fucked up, even for you. Pigo. What if I add some interpretive dance? I think everyone would rather you didn't. Okay, I won't do that. Just give me some paint and a paintbrush. I need to do some art. You're a real sad sack. You know that? <laughs> Go ahead, then. Art it up. Just try not to hurt yourself. I'm no self-portrait. Thanks, Cindy. Sure. Anytime. Us shit artists have to help one another. Besides... I was out of fuel oil anyway. She only gave it to you because she doesn't see you as competition. The right idea is not coming to her. It's excruciating. You know what you've got in that fuel canister you scavenged from your Kanema? Red dyed heavy fuel oil. Paint and the brush. You're ready to do this. Bye, Cindy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One hand. Can I put... Oh, I can't put it in my hands. I can just look at it in my inventory. Nice. Looks like paint. Though it smells much, 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 much worse. That would be the paint can. That's what I thought it was. Add even more beauty to the wall. Let's go either add to it or fuck it up. I failed the speech check and I still nailed it. Come here, Mural. 
The paintbrush in your hand is like a loaded revolver. What will it be, Desperado? <laughs> Quite a few things come to mind. I'm going to draw a 3,500-year-old pictogram of a human being. Get it. Yeah! Strike a pose. Ho oh, ho. Oh. You've spoken. The wall will now silently repeat the message for a decade or so until the sea air degrades the paint, adding another layer of detritus to the city. Very poetic. Real poetry. Should we return to our murder investigation? I hear there's a really bad one we are supposed to solve. I don't know, Kim. You want to let loose and have a little fun? Why does art inspire you so much? No, art is for arrogant blowhards. Why am I getting this? Is it? Yet your eye constantly seeks out the most critical side of any aesthetic confrontation. Mm -hmm. You follow the expressions of imagination and technical skill with curiosity. And? In short, art is the highest form of human communication, representation, narrative, emotion, and agency intertwined. Uh, would I fit into the art world? I mean... Have you looked in the mirror lately? You have the exact features of a savage art critic with that beard and those clothes. Disheveled and prophetic. Perhaps you should try to critique architecture too. I guess I have been feeling critical lately. Yes, you seek substance. No vapid representations and reproductions of social mores as made manifest in stuffy biennials. We're talking real living art here. Become the art cop. Half art critic. Half cop. Okay, 50% art critic is what's needed to, uh, needed to free me from rote repetition. So be it. Exactly. It's not only your duty to only catch the criminals of the street. You must also apprehend criminals of the printing press and the gallery. The trite and derivative artists and writers of the world. Damn straight. Go ahead and provide savage criticisms, art cop. The world is yours to rip to pieces and reassemble. I am now art cop. Did that get rid of stuff in my inventory? I don't think so. Nice. Punch clock slash payphone. Challenging. Oh my gosh. Where was that at? Oh, it's the punch clock in the end. Uh... Ooh, we could do that one. I think I have a good shot at it. So some kind of superstar. Temporary research bonus. I'm going to lose some logic, and that's fine. I got a lot of logic already. He had a couple bad albums. I think I can do it without one. It's going to be done in a minute. I'm going to talk to these kids again for the first time today. I said I wasn't going to do it, but... Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, if I had my gun. Oh, the things I would do. Okay, we're going to go back down. We're going to go punch that pay clock. Why wouldn't Kim forge a signature for Mr. Everett? Is he just, like, inclined to not help me whatsoever? Is that his business? Is that his bee, his bee snatch? Is that the way he gets down? Give him the low up and the low down? What's up, racist? What's up, other racists? Oh, no, they're not racists. They're just... They're cheering for a cause. I'm not even going to put on skill clothes. I'm just going to go punch this clock barehanded with my crowbar. You know? Barehanded. The already familiar cold touch of plastic welcomes you as you pick up the handset. Okay, I have a 72% chance plus two because I heard my name. Harrier Dubois. I'm going to let the muscle memory dial a random number. Your fingers run over the dial pad. Zero, zero, 005. That's the dialing code for Revachol. 4952. And a moment of hesitation before entering the final numbers. 993. Nine, Calling. Breakthrough imminent. Calling. Still calling. Then. Video Revachal, 24 hour video rental. You rent 8 and 10 millimeter films for home use. This is Lummy, how may I help you? What is this place? Video Revachal is a 24 hour video rental. We rent 8 and 10 millimeter film for home use. This is Lummy. Why did I call you? Maybe you called to extend your rental period? Do you need to extend your rental period? My name is Harrier Dubois. Do you have anything on my name? Let me fire up the machine. 
Dubois. Dubois. Here we are. You haven't rented anything in five years, but you still have a copy of Blue Ocean Hell from November 46. Whoa, not a thumb sound that one. Okay, thanks. If you can, return it to us on the corner of Voyager and Maine. The call is terminated by the other party. You're left with the discomforting sound of the disconnect tone. Some kind of superstar. They say the world isn't ready for a rock and roll cop. No one wants their state monopoly on violence to be mixed with celebrity worship. They claim to know it would be dangerous for detectives to rise to the ranks of demigods and have sexual encounters with barely legal cover girls. It would be insane, they say. To all this, you say, fuck off and die, in a cool voice. You people have no idea how good these cops are gonna get. They're gonna crack 20 cases a day. In the future, cops will be like astrophysicists or prime ministers or prophets. And you're the first one. Bonuses. Uh, learning cap for visual calculus raised to six. Learning cap for suggestion raised to six. Electrochemistry and composure raised to six. Nice. But I lose a logic. Price of self-delusion. <laughs> I like that. Well, I got a logic back now that I'm not solving it. Um, I didn't want to do hobo cop, so we're not doing hobo cop. Don't have any skill points. Can't unlock another one. But, um... Yeah, I'm looking pretty good. Actual art degree. Is this what I would have needed to talk to Cindy? Probably. Alright. Well. Glad we could solve that one. Can you walk through the door? Harrier! Thank you. Alright, let's see if there's any other white skill checks I can do. There's a look in the mirror one. I can try that one again. Uh, it's in the map. There we go. Mirror. I don't know. Let's try it again. Cafeteria window. Oh, I didn't try that one because I need to, um... It's not... The moment's not right. If it gets later at night, we'll try it again. I'm wondering if it's a time of day or... If it's just not possible. Measure head physical instrument formidable. Alright, let's see if we can get through this, man. We'll try clothes. We'll put some clothes on. Nice. Anything that takes away from physical instrument? That do who? Nope. Hmm. Savoir faire. Nope, that'd be it. All right. Got the beater on. Let's talk to the Al Ghul man. The unpromising. Raise pupil. There must be some friction Mr. Cl also okay. <laughs> above all let's be, let's be honest. Surprised. Mr. Cle also. He oh my Mr. god, I keep skipping also. through it and I keep clicking the same thing. Alright, thank you for this. He looks toward the harbor, motionless. The okay. tattoos on his face. There is nothing fun I cannot possibly imagine. I the drawings are precise and look true to their pseudo-scientific ambitions. One thing, however, it is not entirely free of throwbacks in the phylogenetic tree. His large... Do that so he stops talking. You're right, that's craniometric perfection. My race does not stand a chance. Correct. Uh... I am... You pick up on something artificial in his tone, like he's put in on an act. But you're this is all part of the union. The hard deem... Now leave okay. me be. There's more to it. I'm mm -hmm. fine. Interesting. Um, Ken, what do you think about this? I think this racist is better than the last. That will be the. That will be our lucky racist. I already said that. Remember? Ah, this is our racist. <laughs> I like the previous racist be better, actually. Hmm. That is. Our These cops are just jealous. Hmm. Nothing I can do. The unpromising. I. You pick up on something. Find out. Interesting. There is nothing. Oh, a receding genet. You know. Mahoon is a derogative. You're welcome. The mound of the Vesper. The other law. I don't want to listen to this man talk again. Has proven the, indi the indigenous. And the, 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 indi 
the indig the indigenous okay, um, people. Continue. The, the latter is pretty bad. The Koikos of Grog. Mud Use colored. To an untra pinkness is the Koiko. Wouldn't he be one for? Uh, is it 82,000 years that we've been recording history? You have very little idea of what is happening. The mysteries of the Oh, sorry, just to speed running this revolution, conversation. Revolution. Enough of tips, the FR. Let the mosquito. It seems unlikely that you are the sage one. Then there is the coin. Oh, yeah. I don't enough. care. Enough. I actually do not care. I cannot possibly. Yeah, shut up. I really don't care what he has to say anymore. He talks too slow. He's clearly just buff and strong and big. And that's it. <laughs> Let's look at my white checks. We can go try the mirror one more time. Mm. What shirt should I put on? Mm. Plus one drama. I like my big coat. Um, some nice shades. I wish I had a nicer hat. Like that. Um... I like the gloves, okay. We're just going for style points at the moment. None else. Dude, go down the stairs. This staircase bothers me every time I play this game. Okay, we're gonna go look in the mirror. Probably gonna have to put on my electrochemistry stuff again. It's only 4.19 in the afternoon. When it's 4.19 in the afternoon, the whirling in rags is soon. Okay, it's these two dumbasses again. Oh, did I ever let you know I found your husband? Hold up. I don't think I did. Oh, hello, dear. There you are again. I ran into your husband on the coast. Goodness. H how is he? Did he say why he hasn't returned yet? He's fine, ma'am. As we had suspected, he couldn't get back earlier because the water lock on the canal was broken. Now he's just finishing up some work. Oh, yes. That's my morel. He's bound to catch a cold, but I am so relieved to hear that he's okay. Thank you for putting an old woman's heart at ease, if even a little. You haven't, however. There are dangers out there. Our aging bodies fail. Her heart won't... Bye. Hey, do you have anything else you want to say to me? Ah, smallest church in Saint-Saëns, right? Yeah, the church is... Or no, actually, the church is actually my love. Things are really bad with it. Oh, no, 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 no. I just read number four. I fucking rocked that shit. It was all right. Subdued. I might start letting people up there again. Now, what can I do for you? About my bill for tonight? For 20 real. You got it. Good. You got the room for... Bye. Loser. Now we're gonna go talk to my mirror. Because that's what I'm good for. I'm gonna go bang on this woman's door again. Hey, hello? The door is closed. This... This door, oh. this door, still the lieutenant, the lieutenant, the lieutenant. He's like, um, what are you doing? Uh, police work. Let me check the spill. I always forget the skill check. This is not the, wait. Does that lead into Kim's room? It does. Okay. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face. Electrochemistry. Adorned. With the expression. Okay. Electrochemistry. Hmm. Pants. Fingertips. Ooh, these these pants are cool. There we go. We got the fit on. Let's do it. A mirror hangs on eight percent. I like those odds. In it, your fate still not happening. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Hmm. <laughs> okay. White checks. White checks. They're in the journal because I have to go to the map. All right, figured it out. Church doors. The novelty dice maker. White door. Legendary medium. Ooh, from Azrik to. Oh, from A to Zreek. A guide to a well-behaved cockatoo. Let's do that one. Back at the, uh... I think that's back at the bookstore. From A to Zreek. I'm just trying to level up. Let's get some experience points. Because I, I can't really do anything right now. We had that whole big commotion with Titus where, um... 
I felt awkward the whole time talking to him. I mean, for good reason. I really messed it up. Ooh, you. Did your mom tell you what I was into? How is the investigation going? Found any curses yet? Yeah, I found a way into the doomed commercial area. Oh, that's great. I hope exciting adventures lie ahead. And maybe you can help Mother become less afraid. Okay, I'm going to see if I have anything for composure and do, do something for Annette. Close, close, close. I always forget what my clothes do. Um, What was it? Composure? Okay, nothing's taken away from composure, so now we just need to add. Nice. Those are good shoes. Don't use the itchy pants. Okay. Just the shoes. Hello again, sir. All right, I'm gonna do something now with a 42% skill check. I'm testing my luck this episode. The girl keeps her hands folded, hidden. Why is that? Hey, why do you keep your hands folded? What do you mean, sir? You don't need to be worried, I'm here to help. She looks around anxiously. Her hands remain folded in front of her. Show me your hands. She doesn't Show me your hands. hands. The lieutenant stands by, looking at the two of you with little interest. It's okay. She brings out her reddened hands, her nails frayed, nearly chewed down to the flesh. Uh, you bite your nails. And you knew this from me keeping my hands folded? Yes. Well, that proves nothing. Anyone could do an easy deduction like that. She actually is impressed. This is more like a defensive reflex. Want more? Bet I can figure out why you bite your nails. I got a few reasons in mind. She nods. Half provocative, half enthusiastic. You're uptight because of your mother and the pressure she's been putting on you. Maybe so, sir. Okay, I know it's a bad habit, and I shouldn't. Either way, another ace deduction by the number one detective in town. It was okay, sir. There's more that can be achieved here. Ask her to do the same. You think so? Do better. To do something about me. You're quite sober. <laughs> For now, let's not rule anything out. The lieutenant does not flinch at the comment. He does not flinch even a single bit. He is intensely not flinching. It takes effort. <laughs> Kim's like, that was a stinker, wasn't it? What are you going to do about that one, Dubois? And I'm having a grand time. I sure hope you are, sir. There she stands, Boom. swaying on her feet, assaulted by the early spring breeze. She smiles at you. The whole situation suddenly feels familiar. Somehow, there's something you're missing. Ooh, what are you missing here? Why does this feel familiar? Plus one, I know the law, with an 83% check. Because you know each other. She's been talking to you so openly because you've talked before. Hang on, so you know me, we've met before. Yes, I stand in this spot all the time. You've been running around all week without your shirt on, sir. Telling people about being a star or something. I don't really understand who those stars are. Did I ever talk to you? Of course. You've stopped by a few times. You certainly look better than the last time I saw you. What do you mean, better? I look like shit. Yeah, but you don't have party eyes anymore. Oh, party eyes, yeah. Party eyes. Yes, of course. That makes sense. Party eyes? You know, like a cat in the dark. All big and wide-eyed. <laughs> it certainly looks odd on a man. The swiveling eyes of a loony drug addict. That is what she meant. You were probably going into. Fuck yeah. You should get some party eyes right now. Nope. Snap those sequins on you, boy. Does that mean I've been partaking in narcotics? Oh, baby. That's not what you have to worry about. Worry about the important thing. Uh, thanks. I've learned something about myself today. I'm glad I could help you, sir. Oh, let's ask this person the most hard-hitting question of, what is romance? It's the type of book where there's a rich lady and she has to choose between the good man and the bad man. Nice. Or there could be a story about a poor lady getting a rich man. It's about what a, man and lady business, sir. What, a, what about a book where the man and lady business doesn't work out at all? I haven't read many of those. Maybe you should ask mum. Okay, uh, you think she has one about an excruciatingly painful breakup? I don't think it's a romance story if the main characters break up, though. 
No, no, no. Think about it. One where they plunge into a torrid spiral of pain and recrimination. Only in... Or only it's really long and drawn out. Scarred for life. Phantom limb. Um, no. I don't know. Doesn't ring a bell? All right, I'll ask your mom. Yes. She knows books. Definitely. All right, yeah, whatever. I'll just talk to your mom. And not kick my microphone cord. What was that? An idea for an unfinished... We're writing books. ...stuck somewhere in your forebrain. Yep. Later, when you get the chance, you should address these issues by getting drunk. That'll show them. What about when everyone is poor? That's really not a proper romance story. That's more like everyday life. Sometimes you have to write about real life things. Not in romance books, sir. These are about nice and pretty people, and everyone is happy in the end. So what about a poor man getting a rich lady? It happens, but usually the guy gets rich in the process. Or should actually be rich himself, mm -hmm. but has lost his family property unjustly. Like during the revolution or something. I see. Those are unhappy books for most of the pages. People sad about what they have lost, but then it all turns out just fine in the end. Okay, what about when both of the men are bad? These are not very common. You can't have a choice between bad and bad. Nobody wants to read a story like that. Okay, okay. Well, what if it's written really well? Well, maybe then it's fine. Maybe if the lady then decides not to pick either because she doesn't need a bad man. Yes, that would be interesting. Um, that's enough romance for me. I had other questions. Maybe some about other books? Okay, bye. See you around the net. Let's go figure out what's that. Let's get to the bottom of this bird mystery. This book. This book about birds. Birds. Bird law. Okay. Oh, do you have anything else to talk about? Hello again, esteemed officer. And welcome to crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. I had a few more questions about the curse. Okay, but please, only a few questions. What about the wards you on the back door? The are these spirits? Simonies as well? Yes, the Simonies are very crafty, and their wards are extremely powerful. Okay, never mind. The woman before you scans the store, her shoulders rigid and tense. Your daughter Every is the one standing then, outside the store, right? Annette, yes, my daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science fiction. Tell me. Was she at her post doing her job like a proper girl? Yeah, of course. Wonderful. Did you talk to her? Yeah. Great. On a scale of one to ten, how compelled were you to buy books after talking with her? Ten. She's certainly very polite and helpful. My precious, her dedication brings joy to my heart. If you have children, I hope they turn out as great as my Annette. Yeah, I guess she's a trooper, all right? She looks like she can take it, but it's actually wearing her down. You know she's been biting her nails? God. Ugh. I've told her not to do that. It's such a disgusting habit. She'll get over it. Anxiety is a part of life. I don't think she can do anything about it. She can, if she has enough willpower. This is what's called growing pains. Life isn't easy. Life doesn't give breaks. Come on, ma'am. It's obvious she can't do anything about it. You are placing an unnecessary burden on a young child. That is true, and obviously the will of the market, but maybe make an exception for your daughter? She stands stiff and severe, silently fuming. Ten or so seconds pass without change. I'm still sitting here thinking. She's looking for one, but there simply aren't any good arguments for being an asshole. Oh no. Hold on. I need to invite her inside and apologize. She must be freezing out there. There. I don't know what to say to you. My husband, he tries to teach me business lessons. I have what my mother called a dull mind. All this stress. Is the husband Annette's father? Yes. My husband is a successful entrepreneur east of the river. If only he were more involved in the business we're running up here. No matter. Soon we'll both be off for Grand Caron. Wait! Grand Caron? What's that? It's a proper place to live. One of the most peaceful neighborhoods east of Jamrock. You may know it for its massive housing projects. Most of the buildings are empty at the moment. It's a great opportunity to get ahead of the crowds. Better times ahead for sure. And your husband's also involved with the bookstore? He made the initial investment. Since then, he's been what you might call a silent partner. Didn't mean to do that. All right. Super silent. Almost inaudibly so. She told me she doesn't go to school anymore. She's been too busy helping me here. So she studied at home this trimester. This is a temporary solution, of course. 
I assure you, I of all people understand the importance of education. She will be back in school the moment the store takes off. Okay. And hell freezes over? Never mind. It's not a good topic to get into. All right, I had something else in mind. The woman looks aloof. Her features much softer. Occasionally, she glances at her daughter's silhouette. All right, farewell. Cool. Wow. Riveting. Okay, I got a bird to investigate. Back up to the birds. The bird books. From A to... S s oh, fuck, where are the books? Shelves full of biographies of famous... Browsing through all the books, suddenly, a particularly high-speed light next to Earth, next to the... I really must... She understands. I'm sorry, I did not mean... Yeah, okay, fuck off. Uh, I think it's in my inventory, actually. I came here for nothing. Except for to talk to the daughter. And then, like, bring her inside, because her mom's a bitch. A here it is. This book talks about the delicate nature of twos, as well as where to eat pet owners. Or it is not recommended to... You're right. Not great. Performing... This is a yellow-tailed black, perhaps the mo in the words of poet explorer. So despite its banging name, perhaps the most in the words of poet explorer. What do I? I don't know what to do. I don't know how to investigate this skill, uh, this skill check. It doesn't tell me where it's at, so I just don't know. Padlock door, the hangman. Well, the man's gone. Kino. Godly authority. It'd be nice to do a run through where you just max out your authority and then talk to Titus. Wouldn't that be something? I think I'm going to go back to the coast and see what's going on over there. That might be actually the best thing to do. Physique. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a smart thing to do. Okay, where's the map? Do I have to go outside? Is it like Fallout? Can't fast travel in buildings? That would make sense, actually. God, it looks like I have a really big skinny head. It's just bald. That's definitely not what that is. Okay, I'm at the Marnese waterfront, the fisherman's shacks, and the church. Let's go to this church. The, the, the chucks. Let's talk to people. Oh, hey, what's up? You want to sign something for me? A place, man. It's locked. What can our village do for you? Mm. Goodbye, I'm off. Okay, well, if I don't have money tomorrow, I'll come here and get my free stay. Please, Is it man. suggestion? What? Yeah, I need to level up suggestion. I can level it up to seven. Seven, seven. What's in here? Is this where the kids are at? I don't know. Show me where the kids are at, ma'am. I'm gonna hold them hostage until you give me what I want. Hey, uh, what's up, woman? Do you have any new skill Fine, options? The sea's gonna calm down soon. I can feel it. The wind is turning southeast. What's in your mind, officer? What do you do around here? Like I said, fish mostly. Sail the waves, take care of the kids, pick nets. Right now, I'm tarring a little skiff. Is that enough to make a living? Sometimes I also walk to the beach to see what the sea has given up. The sea is full of surprises. Keep it professional, man. Don't make it sound like you're hitting on her. This is what is called a conversation. You don't have to be guarded right now. Interesting. What have you found? Wood. Pieces of glass. Every once in a while we see dead bodies. Human, animal, fish, other odd sea creatures. A mine washed ashore once. Oh, continue. Bottles, drugs also. Lost cargo in general. Most of the time it's just wood and glass. All right. Major choice moment. You only get to ask one thing. It would be weird to say them all. Choose wisely. 
A mine? The RCM could use a mine. Where is it? Bottles, drugs, drinks. Major narc. I need to know about the human bodies. Well, you're barking under the wrong tree. Yeah, maybe stay clear of the things reminding her of the floater yeah. she used to be married to. Just saying. Um. Maybe I can help. So I'm looking for someone else, actually. Oh? Who? Hey. Oh, well, that's it. I'm not looking for anyone else right now. Well, how can I assist you then, officer? Okay. Let's not admit that I drove the, uh, the car that's sunk in into the land. I feel like that's not a good use of time. I feel like I could talk about better things with her. The kids that are playing... I never did talk to the girl in the shack, did I? Let's try that. Let's try that. Feels safe and warm in here, not like outside. Hello, mister. I heard there was a girl around here that has armor gloves. Is that you? Oh, I had gloves. Very big ones. Where did you get these gloves? Found them when Lemmy and I were playing hide and seek. In an empty house. Where no one lives. I think she doesn't want you to think she stole them. And where are the gloves now? I hid them. The twins were going to take them. They're stupid. Hmm. She lifts her stuffed toy up and looks into its one remaining eye as though searching for confirmation. We're going to need those gloves. It's for important police business. Oh. She doesn't seem to understand, but the lieutenant's tone has conveyed to her the important part. They're in my sand castle. Behind our house. Under the sand. You can break the castle. It's not very good. I'm gonna go out and kick i I'm gonna kick a kid's sand castle. I'm proud of that. Are you Lillian's daughter? Yes! I am. Little Lily. Do you know my mom? Yeah, we met earlier. That's nice. My mom is great. She's never angry or anything. Are the twins outside your brothers? Yes. They don't want to play with me. They're older and play outside. They look the same. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell them apart. I could put my boot print in one of their faces and then you'll always tell them apart. They look identical, right? I said the same thing. They look identical. <laughs> so what's that? Point at the stuffed bird hanging from the ceiling. It's a grouse. That's a goose. You might be able to get on Garth's good side if you replace the broken skewer you almost certainly broke. Can I have it? I know someone who really likes birds. Um, we're not taking shit from a kid. But what's it for? I don't know. Oh, okay, thanks. She twirls the furry doll around in the air. We're not taking kids' toys. All right. You just need to grab it from the ceiling and go. And, uh, goodbye. Bye. Okay. Well, we know where the armor gloves are. We're not going to just steal the bird. That's kind of rude. I'm already going to kick over the sandcastle. Where's the sandcastle? It's over there. I can see this. I can see the shovel. Weather has not been kind to Lily's little sandcastle. The once mighty towers are quickly eroding away. You can see something shining back to you from what must have been a vast underground catacomb network. I'm going to reach in the catacombs and pull out the shiny object. The walls and floors give way to the giant's greed, collapse, and present you with a pair of ceramic gauntlets. Congratulations. That's the gauntlets down then. We're doing good on the armor collection front. We're so good. Dude, we're so good. Strength and digits. As you fold your fingers into a fist, you realize you could knock anyone out with one punch. The white ceramic gloves wrap around your digits comfortably. Decked out in the future armor, like a cop ought to be. The hardened, vitreous enamel, at once sleek and light, adds a glow to your cheeks and a spring to your step. Just imagine what a full suit of this stuff could do for you. This is the long sought after enemy technology. I can't just enjoy it. 
I must study it. Remember, the vitreous enamel material acts as a kinetic redistributor. It's meant to stop bullets. Wear it. Observe its properties. See if there's a weakness in the design. Okay. For the day you have to fight someone covered in the same material. Dude, can I go intimidate Titus with these gloves on? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Does it increase my authority? Because that'd be hilarious. Interfacing. Okay, strength and digits. Get it? Okay. I did get a level up, so we're going to put a point in two. Oh, it's for some kind of superstar. That's right. Nice. Okay, let's go back to here. Oh, I'm five points away. I need five points. How do I get five points? Let's see. Got it. Just got to run out there. Oh. Uh. Come on. Hello? Th there's nothing here. I'm pressing A and there's nothing to do. Okay, let's go over to this other one. Run it, run it, and run it, run it. School of fish huddle around the fence post, then scatter into the dark. Hmm. Ooh, there's something else up here. Look at that. Definitely haven't been here before. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The rectangular sea-worn ornamentation appears in stark contrast to the padlock carelessly drilled into the wood. See if I can increase my physical instrument and put the crowbar in my hand. Maybe the crowbar might do something. Is anything taken away from my physical instrument? Not at all. Not at all. I already have the crowbar in my hands, huh? Hmm. Nice. It's always the wife beater that comes into um, good graces with me. Yeah, don't use the tie. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice. Twenty percent scope. Stand shut in front. You jam the pride. Oh, uh, uh, no way, sir! No way, sir! My luck is turning force. around. Your biceps bulge from the strain. The metal creaks and squeals. The pathetic old wood, rusty screws. And one nail stand no chance against the forces of leverage from deep within a bellow rips <laughs> suddenly the pry bar snaps metal shavings fly everywhere the upper half between the lock and the staple falls to the ground with a no thunk. way no way um i broke the pry bar where do i get a new one I don't know. You don't? Or maybe we'll find a new one. I don't carry more than one pry bar with me. I thought this was a lousy way to enter a place of worship that's already in disrepair. I guess the church agreed. Well, shut up. This was surely just a freak accident. I'm going to see. The, I'm gonna rattle the door to see if they open now. Nothing happened. I don't think that's going to work. Hey, shut up. I may have loosened it, Kim. And money. Taking money from a church. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's my level up. We use my level up to see if I can calm that woman. I mean, politely persuade that woman to sign something for me. There's a lot of ladders heading into this place. Like, it's a shame that I can't get in. But that's okay. We're smart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa. Focus on me and me only. Is there any other way to get that around to the other side? Like maybe to a window, back door, like you said, climb in. Move my mic so I can move. Let's go down here. I don't think I can walk down here that much, but we'll try it out. Whoa. Okay, there's a couple places I can walk down here. Ooh, a person. What? 
I missed this the first time. Must have taken a lot of patience to do this. Talk to the person last. Just go and take all the stuff. Painted with pastels. Someone is trying to bring cheer into this world. Who are you? A shaggy looking girl in her late teens or early twenties kneels on the ice with an electronic contraption in her hand. Hearing you approach, she looks up. Oh, hello there. It's cold out here, but she's not wearing a hat. She must be freezing. Everyone knows drugs make you invulnerable. Okay, to no. Mm -mm. You bet this one likes to party. Uh, dear child, it is freezing. Where's your hat? Huh? I said you should have a hat on. So should you. Do you not see my head right now? I should, and I do. Oh, I didn't notice that. It's nice. You should wear one, too, if you plan on staying outside in this weather. Yeah, well... Look, man, fuck the hat. Ooh. What did she just say? That's not how a civilian is supposed to address an officer of the law. Is that kind of language really necessary? I'm sorry I said fuck the hat. I was concentrating on something else. See, and I didn't have to fail a skill check. My whole family swears and it rubbed off on me. Yeah, what's your name? A cell. Uh, and your surname? Why? Why indeed, forget it. Okay. Uh, what's the device you have there? This is a portable recording device. It's for field recording. No quality, but still. And the wires? Actually, just one wire. I picked on it till the braiding came loose. The wire leads to a contact microphone. Okay. Uh, what are you doing out here in the cold? Recording, I guess. And what is it you're recording exactly? I think I'm recording cracks in the ice. But there's no way to tell. Not without headphones. I think I just recorded your footsteps too. And Not what sure how that will sound. Yeah, and what are these recordings for? The cracks, footsteps? The musicians in the Palisseum used them for making music. They loop the stuff, cutting the tapes together. They make music out of cracks in the ice and keys jangling. Crazy sounds like that. It's hard to explain. Yeah, it's Machine Girl. Anyway, I thought I'd make some too. It's supposed to be, like, a music place anyway. I don't really know what I'm doing. They use synthesizers too. Take this, you're cold. Lieutenant begins to take off his jacket. No, man, fuck that, I'm cool. I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry about the fuck. No, fuck you. It's okay. Uh, nah, this is where a hat would come in handy. Yeah, maybe you were right about the hat. I'm gonna give her my hat. Thanks. Cool. The fun people, people, papo, papo. Cool. Uh, I had some other questions. Go ahead. I have low empathy. Let's get my empathy up. Uh, tape recorder lies on the ice like a discarded toy. Pick it up. Uh, give her a hat. The icosahedral red eye. Um, actually, that's it for now. Let's see if I can level okay. up my empathy. Not level up. Um. Got any clothes? Well, I just took her. I just gave her my hat. Okay. I think I got another one. Yeah, my empathy blows because I can't even talk to Kuno. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're done here. Let's, uh. Yeah. Let's go get a signature. Do, 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 do. Okay. What about the map? Oh, I added a new skill check. The washerwoman. Got it. Uh, let's go check out her camp right now. Let's ransack it, see if we can steal things, pillage. The tent is just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Inside, three young men, all in forward-looking apparel, reminiscent of the sticker on the padlock, are listening to some new form of music. It's like nothing you've ever heard. One of them looks at you. Come on, get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. Yeah, Morty. It's safe to assume this is their leader, or at least he thinks he is. I'm gonna squeeze in. Sorry, you barely have room for one. You go ahead. I'm too old for this. I'm actually not, he thinks. I just dislike delinquents. I'm sure you will feel right at home. I'll keep watch. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. Oh, listen to that. Uh, mm, uh. I'm talking because of copyright strikes. I get copyright strikes all the time. Copyright strikes. Canisters filled with what appears to be water. The label says distilled. The leader. The leader. The leader. Speaker. The big kind they use for live music. You see a youngish man 
bleaching the tips of his hair with a toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down and extends his hand in greeting. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. There is definitely something futuristic about his hair. Aggressively so. You get the sense that this is what the future will look like. Imbecilic. Yes, should the future ever come, it will look deeply imbecilic, like this guy. I'm gonna shake his hand. His grip is strong, sweaty, and warm. He's trying to project and inspire confidence. This is my posse, Noy. The young man with earrings looks at you. An egghead. Egg! Egg! Together with a little burger, who's out there right now, doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organisers. Alright, why are you here? You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. Uh, continue. Artists are for talent. Yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate part. Place is a shithole. I apologize for my friend Noit's potty mouth. I realize this is not how you speak to a police officer. He has authority issues. No need, the place is pretty bad. Which brings me to the problem of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of narcomania on the coast. Um, so what are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the church, and I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dope heads and burnouts if left unattended. Dope heads! Burnouts! Well, I'm sad to say, that's exactly what happened. <gasps> sad because we were just about to put Martin Ace no. on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamrock. Nah, strike that in Revershol. That's a hole. Strike that! The world! The world, yeah ha ha. And sad yet, because the dope heads and burnouts hold up in there were the worst kind. He leans back a little. Watching you with a steady, serious gaze. Letting you imagine just how bad those dope heads and burnouts really are. Good. This calls for an opinion. You're an expert in those. <sighs> what kind? The spooky kind. Okay, what exactly do you mean be by spooky? I was hoping you would be the judge of that, officer. All I mm -hmm. can say is, their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church okay, into a community center talking and about a place of spiritual refuge. Also, they don't eat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. Uh huh. Yeah. Continue. People just wanna spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. Get it? Cause waves. Thank you, Egghead. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter. Getting them out. Whatever spooky stuff they're doing, I'm sure it's not what the Ecclesiastes meant their property for. Please have more important things to do right now, kid. Come on, man. Yeah! Don't care. I bet he's got a shitload of questions. Fine, just a few more questions. That's the spirit. Did you put the padlock on the door? Yes. I asked Noy to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. It's a temporary... F I had to do it in an hour. Not my best work. But it should hold for a while. I need the key. Of course. Noid, give the officer the key. Only if he promises to look into the spookers in the church. Officer, I apologize. Damn it. Take it. Don't you just want to see Okay, just give me the key. There? Brilliant. Noid, the key. All right. I'm going to be the cool cop. Catch the keys that flies towards me. You sense the trajectory of the little piece of metal and plastic. The object makes a small ringing sound as it approaches. Just the tiniest chime to your left. Kaching! The key hits your palm. The speed freaks nod to you approvingly. I'm gonna bask in the glory. The young man with ribcage shaped suspenders looks at you, standing there, with a goofy grin on your face. Okay, David Bowie. The word august, used as an adjective. Okay, yeah, That's right. Other questions. Fit. Sure, man. That's it. As always. I got the key. I don't care what you have to say. I'm here for the sweet jams, sweet music. More tribalistic markings. This post is covered in the little humanoids. A pole screwed into the ice to keep the tent erect. Trash for some unending partying. I'm gonna knock this down, can I? A pane of etonite has been planted into the snow. Two poles are holding it up. Barely holding it up. 
It could fall over any minute. A stronger gust of wind might be enough. What is this? It looks like a makeshift bridge. Could be convenient. I'm gonna push their Eternite over. The pain falls into the icy snow with a soft thunk. Hmm. Cool. So it's all about. We're gonna get the signature before I go into the church, though. All right. Suggestion. What increases my suggestion? Savoir faire. Nothing here. Okay. Suggestion. Suggestion. S U G G E S T I O N. We can take away empathy. Won't do anything, but uh, I'll look cool doing it. Okay, let's not look into the water again. I don't care about the water at this point. Hmm. These gloves make this jacket look elite. Like, I'm a badass. Okay, let's go get the signature. Kids, it is raining. Go inside. Your mother would be... I actually don't know what your mother would think. The policeman. What can our village do for you? 72% chance. What is this? The th third or fourth time I'm having her sign this letter? Oh boy. Crack your knuckles. Get ready. Three. Two. One. Like ocean waves shaping the coastline. That's it. End of the episode. I'm literally ending it right here. We'll see you in the next one.